Okay, we are live at reInvent 2016 here in Vegas, and can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Nathan Wallace from Turbot. I'm the CEO and founder there. Excellent, and what does Turbot uh, do? What do you guys provide? Yeah, Turbot provides software-defined operations for large AWS customers, and what we do is really help you with the entire setup of that Amazon environment at scale as you're really trying to do it right. So we'll help manage all those Amazon accounts, all the identity and access across that environment, the network set up across that environment, and then we provide full real-time guardrails so you can have a lot of agility and direct access for your development teams combined with the enterprise controls you need to keep it safe and secure. Excellent. Can we have a demo? Absolutely. Let's do it. So this is Servot. Servot runs in the customer's account in one of their Amazon accounts as software. The view we're looking at here is for an administrator of Turbot, so they have a view to be able to see what's going on in the account, they log into that. They can go to the admin view, they see a full list of the accounts in the environment. Typically our customers have tens or hundreds of Amazon accounts in the environment, and they might even separate their applications into each separate account. An account for dev, an account for prod, really breaking that up. Then the admin view also provides you a way to define your networks centrally, and then Turbot automates the full setup of all of that across all the account environments. You can change one place, your default security group, which we then automatically propagate across hundreds and hundreds of accounts, your DNS settings, your DHP settings, all that sort of thing. Turbot also provides a whole policy framework for how your options work to be able to set rules for how you want that environment to be set up. So for example, you can set policies around how you want encryption running in the environment. You can say, hey, S3 is fine, but everything must be encrypted, and you can set rules like that in Turbot. So for the admin view, you really get that way to set up and manage that cluster at scale as an enterprise. You work with your security teams and all that to get that posture set up correctly. But then for individual team members, if I flip over now and pretend I'm someone who's one of the developers or something in that environment, they can log into Turbot and they just see the couple of accounts that they happen to have access to. They can log directly into the Amazon console. Turbot does not abstract away the Amazon console. We want you to use the console. We want you to use APIs. We want developers to have that freedom just within the guardrails that you need as an enterprise. So as a developer, I can come straight in, I can use things like S3 to create buckets and all that sort of stuff. And then Turbot's constantly watching that environment with real-time controls, like cloud, through CloudWatch events and stuff, we've wired all of that up automatically. And we can see what that means. So if I create a bucket in S3 now as, my, as a developer, I happen to have permission to do that. Let's do a demo bucket, put that in a region, create that bucket, so that's created. In the background now, if I go back to the Turbo console, I can see in that account, we just sit here for a second, what we'll see happen is in the background, Turbo's watching all those CloudWatch events, it's catching all of that coming through, and then it's gonna pick up here and show us that it found the bucket and it just applied all the controls to that bucket. So we just automatically detected that bucket, said versioning must be turned on on that bucket, encryption must be enabled on that bucket, all that stuff was just, just happened live in real time. If we go and look at that control, we can see, hey, versioning's enabled for this bucket. We can see all that stuff. And if we look in the history, we can see we detected the event. We then implied the versioning, and then we automatically closed the alarm to say everything was great. If we look in the detail of that, you can see the actual log of all the decisions Turbo made to make that decision to apply that action in this context. You can see the raw event that came in from Cloud Watch events to give us that. And then Turbot automatically builds all the context around that in terms of the option settings for your environment and all the information it needs to actually take that action based on the policy settings for your company. What's fascinating about that, Anno, is we can go back to the console and actually change that setting. Let's say someone came along and said, oh, well, I'm going to turn off versioning. We Why can't would block you do that? that? Yeah. yeah, we can't block that with IAM, unfortunately. We do all the preventative controls we possibly can. Crazy policy work, but we can't block that. But we do that, and then in the background, again, Turbot's going to detect that action and automatically repair it in real time for us. Excellent. Um, and if people want to find out more, uh, where is the best place to go? Yeah, the best place to go is come to TurbotHQ.com or reach out to us on Twitter at TurbotHQ. We'd love to talk to you, talk to your team about how you're managing those accounts and you know, show you what's possible to really let you ramp this at scale. That's a really elegant way to simply manage uh, large environments. I, uh, I really like it. Nice job. Thanks. Cool. Thank you. <laughs>